Hi, this is Arlene from Being Arlene Gloriously. I'm back again. We'll get a two for today because I think I'm going to upload it tonight also. Anyway, I'm going to try and clean up or I don't know what happened to my video there. But I'm going to try to get all my spices in order and put them in one cabinet. Um, a few weeks ago, I showed you the Lazy Susan that I bought. I did start putting some things on there, but that's what that looks like. I got it from Target. And so I'm going to put take some of the things out of this cabinet and I'll move the camera when I get over to this other cabinet to try to make all of my spices fit in one cabinet. And then um, this cabinet will be freed up for other things. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to organize it yet, but I'm trying to get more organized. I hear that in the background. That is my washer, washing some clothes. So we're just going to have to deal with it. Like I said, my videos are real life. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, if you're enjoying my content, please like, share, subscribe. And uh, keep watching. <laughs> okay, so as I take these things, I'm going to take a, a lot of things out of here, a lot of spices. Okay, even though I really do not like to cook that much, when I cook, I like my food to be very flavorful. So I have all types of spices. I have spices that I buy when I go to Canada. I have cousins in Canada, and so when I go visit them, I buy a lot of spices from there because you can get spices there that we don't offer here in the United States. Or at least not in any store that I've seen. Maybe if I had um, more Caribbean stores, in my vicinity, I will see these type of spices. Stuff like allspice seasoning. See how it looks chunky. Stuff like that. Jerk seasoning. I have been seeing some jerk stuff in Kroger's. Some Kroger's do have a um, Caribbean section that I'm loving because I get some Caribbean drinks from there, like cola champagne, um, what else, ginger beer. So I like those kind of things. These seasoning, these coffee things, I'm gonna leave over here for right now, but I would like to get these out of that cabinet also. But I also have a pantry that I need to get together because a lot of the stuff can go in the pantry also uh, but I have things in my pantry that do not belong like clothes <laughs> and purses and stuff so I'm a work in progress so I'm going to move these things over here Ooh, I might have to get the little I'm putting it on my stove. I'm gonna put this um, this tray that goes in the middle of my stove on top of it, so I can have a flat surface to put a lot of these um, items. I have my step stool here. I think I've told you before that I'm only five foot, so a lot of times I have to get on the step stool to do things. items I have two and three of them especially the ones that I buy in Canada because it just depends on how often I go I'll try to stock up 
get those items. Like for all the Caribbean people, the rice and peas seasoning. Yum, yum. What else? I have some Caribbean seasoning, some um, five spices to make your lao mein and chow mein. What else? Oh, some Caribbean seasoning. Creole. Anyway, if I start showing you all the seasonings, I'll be stuck doing that. And that's not what we're here for. Let's see. Okay. So now I'm going to move the camera over and down a bit, maybe. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Hope that's a good angle so we can see. I gotta clean up the top of this one. seasoning is almost gone. Put my clothes down. Y'all just give me, I feel like I'm chewing this gum real hard. Hey, this is what you're going to get right now. <laughs> Right, I think what I will have to do, I will have to put my big seasonings on the top. Some of these I have in smaller ones, and some of them, the ones that I use a lot, I put them in. Um, well, not all of them. Some, sometimes I'll put them in smaller jars. And other times I will leave them in here. Or sometimes I will even pour the smaller jars into the big, the smaller jars into that big container and just mix it up. Okay. Pull that down. Like this one was in a really big jar. I took it out. Cause I got it from Canada and I put cayenne pepper in there. gonna put this lazy Susan in here. Oh, I didn't even measure to see if it fits. It fits, thank goodness. See if I can push it over to the side a bit, then I'll be able to get a few more things on the side of the cabinet. I wonder, hmm. Well, what I would do, I'm just gonna put some things up in here and I'm gonna move the camera around. So maybe, uh-oh. Okay, some of these will not fit. They're too big, they're too tall. 
I need to mix this with the other five spices that I have. Unlabeled. One is from Canada, the other one's from the United States, and I'm going to mix them. My Chinese spice, as my mother calls it, called it. bottles like these that's got a little bit of chili powder I think I have another one that I can combine these ones they'll fit the ones like this will not They're too big I know I have some more chili powder, I thought. I have quite a few cinnamons also I would like to put together. Oh, a lot of these are taller than I thought. Hmm. That's not good. Those little baby ones will fit. I think that's too high. <clears throat> I thought I had set it up at the perfect height, but some of these are a little taller. Here a little bit. If you like a little kick to your food and your fish, your seafood, very good. I'm gonna combine the packages. I don't need two of them. When I first start buying this, I only seen it in Louisiana, so I would get it when I went to the Essence Festival. But now I'm starting to see Louisiana things carried in um, different stores now. Very good. Hmm. Put these up here. Can't stack them. Get another one on the shelf. I can stack these little baby ones. Some deal weed and what is that? Sage, ground sage. Okay. Well, this is better than it was. Okay, I'm gonna get the camera and show you what I did. It's better than it was. This is, oh, me. Okay, so, so far, I put them on my Lazy Susan here. 
And I got some big ones up there. You can put some more big ones. I might even double stack these. Yep. That will work because they're unopened. Well, some of them are. That really frees up some room in the other cabinet. I'm going to have to come up with another solution, though, because I still have quite a few. Can you see them? Oh, there it goes. Quite a few left over on my stove. Eventually, maybe one day, <laughs> I will get to the point where I have those real pretty shelves, well designed. So that's the room that I made in there. I'm gonna have to put some back in there, but it's better than it was. Oh, this onion powder needs to be in here. That's something I use all the time. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to stop it now, and I thank you for watching me do a little bit of um, organizing. Hopefully, that will inspire you to get some things done. For me, actually me recording it is helping me get some things done. It's making me motivated to get my house more organized. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And have a good day. Bye.